Let's use Google Classroom to operate our Meets from. So on the left, you'll see the teachers view and on the right, you'll see the students. Let's go through first in the teacher view, in the settings, you know, you'll need to do is generate the Meet link. That's something you only have to do once. Now, once you've got it there, you can have it visible to students and there's no harm in having that visible all the time and I'll explain why in a moment. Let's save that. You can now see that the Meet link is visible and over on the student page here, if I refresh their page, that Meet link is now visible on the student's version. I encourage you to have the Meet link there visible all the time because even if students can see the link, if they try and access it without the teacher being in there, they're going to get an error message because that's been disabled in the admin settings as long as you've followed the video uh, provided for admin. So now let's head to actually creating and joining a Meet. The teacher needs to enable it or open the room up effectively. Once they click on it and they get to this room, the Meet is now open. So even if they don't click join now, the Meet is now enabled for students. So uh, I'm going to join in as a student, head over to my student page. And you'll notice that now I've actually got the ability to join it, even though the teacher's not actually in it, by them being on this page, you can see they've enabled the room. So let's join as a student. And let's join as a teacher. There we go, so we're both on. What I'm gonna do now is end the meet. So we've had our little meet, the student's gonna hang up. And once the teacher hangs up, the meet, it's actually still enabled for about 20, 25 seconds, but then it shuts off. So really, it's a safety measure so that once the meet's finished, I'm gonna close that. Once the student tries to re-enter that room, and at 20 seconds, there's a little lag, hopefully they'll improve that. If a student now tries to go in and enter it because the teacher's no longer there, you'll see they'll also get that error message. So that room now, even though the link's still there, the student can no longer get into it because there's a teacher not present. So every time the teacher wants to join a new meet, they use the same link they'll find in their classroom. And the moment the teacher goes into it, it opens it up for the students. So no need to regenerate new links every time if you're using Classroom, just leave it visible and it'll only be accessible when the teacher clicks the link. And straight after leaving, 20 second lag and then the Meet is disabled again until a teacher rejoins. On an iPad in the Google Classroom app, students go to the little video icon in the top right hand corner. And if they click that and join whilst the teacher is not in there, all they'll see is this enter a meeting code and they've got no one to video with. If they click the little video icon and the teacher is in there waiting, they'll have a join meeting button. Simply click that and they are in to the meet with their teacher.